With this being National EMS Week, Hall Ambulance showed its gratitude to some outstanding employees who have gone above and beyond this year. 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera was at the ceremony and has more about how those recognized for their work impact the community. From picking up extra shifts to working in various departments and rarely taking a sick day. These are some of the characteristics that most awardees shared and the overall reason for their recognition. Organizers of the event labeled awardees as humble, which is exactly the demeanor they showed at the ceremony. We're about 450 strong and we're going to recognize about 20 people today. Chief Operating Officer for Hall Ambulance Jonathan Surface says every employee recognized at Thursday's ceremony is the best of the best and stands out amongst others. Family and friends of awardees were also at the ceremony, cheering on their loved ones as they received their awards. Felipe Hernandez won the award for EMT of the Year. Though he's grateful for the recognition, Hernandez says he's not deserving of it, giving credit to his team. I don't think I'm that deserving of this award because there's lots of people. There's 400 of us and they're more deserving. I feel that they're more deserving than I am. Hernandez has been a part of Hall Ambulance for 21 years and in the last year alone, he's picked up an additional 60 shifts. Surprised about the award, saying all he did was do his job. The award for paramedic of the year was given to Shrey Patel. Joining Hall Ambulance with no prior knowledge, he was recognized for his strive to improve his skill sets. In 2021, Shrey again continued Patel has had previous jobs in the past. However, he stated that being a paramedic feels like his first real job. Patel has picked up an extra 26 shifts and says his biggest reward from the job isn't what most people would assume. It's mainly when I was when I'm able to comfort a patient. Um, they're having obviously the worst time of their life at that point. Uh, if I'm able to comfort them, their family, and just make them feel a little bit more relaxed. Patel says working as an EMS isn't just a job, but brings the feeling of family. Something that Julianne Solano, awardee of the Dispatcher of the Year Award, can agree with. Solano started at Hall Ambulance in 2018. She then left and rejoined in 2021. She says the reason for her return is because she missed that familial feeling. I love the people that I work with. And I love working for Hall Ambulance. I left and then I came back because I just wasn't comfortable. I wanted to go back to something that I knew that I loved and that was working here. Maintaining a high performance record, Solano has taken almost 8,500 calls in the last year alone and trained two new hires that same year. Awardees acknowledge that as rewarding as the job may be, it can also be very stressful. Hernandez offering a few words of advice to anyone interested. When you've been doing it this long, you find a space in your mind to put it aside, you know, and keep going. All awardees agree that they've never been happier working for Hall Ambulance and encourage others to join the workforce, saying they're looking forward to the years ahead. In downtown Bakersfield, Ruby Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you.